So now that we've gone over how to verify that your vise is aligned to the x-axis, now let's go over how to actually align the vise. Now this vise is currently aligned, and if you take the wrench off the front of the pendant, what we can do now is we can go ahead and loosen the nuts on the side of the vise. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosen one, and then I'm going to gently tap on the side of the vise to get it to move. So just to verify real quick, again, I bring the indicator down, I get it close, I change the Y, I change the Z, I just slightly drop the indicator down inside the vise, and then using Y axis with one thousandths increment, I want to come in and I want to touch off the back of the vise. Okay, and you can see again, I just moved the vise just a little bit, or I, excuse me, I, I moved the indicator just a little bit, just enough to read. Now I'm going to have to bring the indicator down a little bit because I know I'm going to hit that rough spot on the other side of the vise. So I'm going to start right about there. Okay. Go ahead and, again, I moved the Y in using the one-tenth increment, and now I'm set. So... Just to show you, again, the vise is aligned. Again, we're about five ten thousandths of an inch out. That's acceptable for your first parts. Again, we can get more precise than that. That will come with time. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and loosen up the nut on the right-hand side. And I'm just going to loosen it. I'm going to move the indicator to the other side. And again, the vise hasn't moved. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the wrench away. I'm going to grab the mallet. And I'm just going to tap the vise. And you can see how the indicator moves. Okay. So what that's telling me is that the left side of the vise is closer because the number is higher than the right side of the vise. So when I hit this side of the vise, the vise rotated counterclockwise around this bolt because this one was loose. See, this one's completely loose. Right? So it rotated counterclockwise, and so this vise is now further away than this side of the vise. So now I have to fix that. Okay, so I come over here, you can see it reads zero. I come over to the right hand side, you can see that it reads about minus two and a half thousandths. So what I have to do is I have to fix that two and a half thousandths. Now the way to do that, again, would be to bring this side of the vise forward by, hit, by tapping this corner of the vise and rotating the vise clockwise. Remember, to get it to move, I moved it counterclockwise and I want to move it clockwise. So if the arrow is below the zero, or again, if the, if the arrow starts to move counterclockwise, that means that I'm further away. So if I come over here now and I just tap, you can see that it moved about a thou. Okay? So every time you tap, just go to the other side of the vise and make sure that your zero hasn't moved. Okay, it's still zero on that side. Then I come over here and I, again... I lightly tap. I'm really close to the zero right now. Okay, and it's zero on that side. Now I'm about minus five ten thousandths of an inch on this side. So, again, for your first setups, this is perfectly fine. This is acceptable. You don't have to get any closer than this. Now, either this is going to be highly successful or it's going to be awful, but I'm going to try to get a little bit closer. Okay. So you can see, I'm just lightly tapping on the vise, getting it to rotate. And you can see it's zero on that side, and it's zero on this side. Now I'm ready to go ahead and tighten down the bolt. Now when you tighten down the bolt, the vise might move a little bit. So you might actually have to compensate for when you tighten up the bolt. But make sure that both of your bolts 
the one on the right and the one on the left are tight before you start machining. So again, I'm zero on the right hand side, I jog to the left hand side, and that vice is aligned. 